and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Monkey Prankster. That's why we're bringing this deck back because we got something um, pretty exciting to add to the top end, which we'll get there in just a second. But first, really what this deck's all about, it's, a, it's about playing a whole bunch of threats that you can just keep attacking with and you don't really mind if they die because uh, you're just going to be throwing them against your opponent, um, whether it's just a bunch of spiders with the help of Elise or like Haunted Relic, like these things are just going to die. Blighted Caretaker just kills something and brings in some saplings that are going to die. Um, you yeah, know, so we're going to have a lot of things die. And the reason why that's, uh, why we want that is because we're playing Phantom Prankster. So we have, um, the Phantom Prankters, the whenever an ally dies, deal one to the enemy Nexus. And of course the Neverglade Collector, same thing, but you drain one. So the combination of Prankster and Neverglade Collector will be doing damage to our opponent. Now the new spicy top end card that we're going to be trying is Overgrown Snap Vine. I like that name, Overgrown Snap Vine. Uh, but yeah, 7 mana, 4, 3, whenever you summon a follower, kill it to summon an overgrown snap vine. So important thing there is the, the kill it. So if we have, you know, if we have like a, a col collector in play and we have a snap vine in play, then we play, you know, I don't know, anything, um, uh, you know, like a haunted relic that puts three unleashed spirits into play. Well, you kill all three of them. So they trigger the collectors, so the drains three, and then they all turn into their own copies of Overgrown Snapvine. Uh, this is weird. <laughs> I don't know, know why it's like that. So yeah, so uh, for for two mana with the Haunted Relic, you get three, uh, four, three Snapvines, and so on. Um, now you need, you do need to have your prankster or collector in first, right? Cause if you have like snap fine and then you try playing like a collector, it'll just kill your collector and make it a snap fine. So, you, you know, you got to have like those into play first. Um, we got Maokai's in here because they create saplings for us and those saplings can, uh, you know, just be more ephemeral things that die. The top end, we got a rekindler for the rekindler Callista combo and a Ledros. So I'm not sure exactly how I was. I don't know exactly how Rekindler Snapvine is going to work. Like, let's say we have a Snapvine in play, and then we play a Rekindler. Does it do this when I'm summoned, revive the strongest dead champion, and then also kill it and make an Overgrown Snapvine? I would think so, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, I kind of expect it to do both of both of the things. And so, like Ledros, like I think it would just be like if you have a Snapvine in play, you play Ledros. You deal damage to the enemy neck. You know, it gets the play trigger still, but it also kills the Ledros. And then since it killed the Ledros, it goes back to the hand. So you can kind of just like play Ledros. It dies, it goes back to your hand, but you still have the 4-3 in play. Okay, so with the Rekindle, you only get one Snap Vine and you do not get the champion. You don't get to do this thing. Well, that's a bummer. You don't get the champion? Yeah. <coughs> oh well. Um, last thing is we're playing Monkey Idol. We're we're all Shadow Isles except for playing Bilge Water for Monkey Isle. Uh, sorry, I went down. There we go. Just because Monkey Idol is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, it's just a cool card. <coughs> You get to uh, have an ephemeral, again, trigger those things. Last breath, deal one to the enemy nexus. So more ways to just to do one to the enemy nexus as we're trying to ping them to death. All right, that's all about our deck. Let's get to it. We're going to play five games over in ranked with Monkey Prankster. Okay, you do get the champ. All right. Yeah, we'll just kind of have to see what happens. Let's have to see what happens. <clears throat> Alright. Got double collector, but collector's kind of slow. Let's maybe start with these. Or do I mulligan the other collector? Yeah, let's mulligan the other collector. So, this looks good. Hey, Kordak, yep. 
Came in right at the right time. We got some snapvine action. Joining in right at the right time. Kind of a tough decision what to do on turn two, whether to play Elise or whether to play Cursed Keeper plus Ravenous Butcher. I don't know. What do y'all think? Would y'all go with Elise? Or would you go Cursed Keeper Butcher? I think they have health potion in hand, how this is sitting here like this. Obviously, they could have the auto pass turned off, but I think the most likely thing is they have health potion in hand. All right. People in chat want to go for damage. I'm happy with that, too. Is this the same opponent we played against earlier? We've, again, In the Catastrophe deck, we played against somebody playing Karma Lux that played so slowly. It's like they're at work and they're just like, you know, doing, you know, like they're like doing something else, like they're at work and then they're just like every once in a while, like clicking, okay, play this, you know. That's what it feels like. Oh, I hope that the whole match isn't like this. Yeah, two mana. Seven power, six toughness across two bodies. Not bad, not bad. That egg, did it move? Lady Elise. Lady Elise. Oh, okay. That's fine. I realized I wasn't going to have room for all those. And I didn't really want that 1-1. One, one. I want these saplings. Hey, good morning, only. Good morning. So young. So I do have to worry about like Radiant Guardian, and like I said, there's there's like a ninety percent chance they have Health Potion in hand right now. Okay, opponent surrendered. There we go, Neverglade Collector finishing it out. Want to know, that was a pretty impressive game. You know, Carvel Lux had Eye of the Dragon, you know, into Loyal Badger Bear. And you know, it just took care of that uh, pretty quickly. All right, we got a three on three. Three on three game. Hmm. I 
think, kind of think I want to mulligan everything. Okay. Get some, get, you know, same cards, basically. Hey, Delmo, Runeterra is awesome. Lots of fun. I'm going to be waiting on the Haunted Relics till we have, like, these Collectors in play. Or Prankster in play. difficult. I want to play Prankster and I want to play Maokai. I think with the Ravenous Butcher, I'm going to play the Maokai. No. Built. Ooh, overgrown snap vine. So basically, I played the Maokai because I wanted to make that sapling to kill their T2. I don't like that card one bit. No, they just passed back. That was the smart play. Yeah, Vi's real good against our deck for sure. Down and we go. Come on. No. Yeah, this looks like a loss. We do have a backup plan with these snap vines. That's true. Yeah, I want to do the snap vine plus the haunted on my turn. I wanted to get I wanted to get a collector and play first. Uh, but I guess not. Dang. I don't bite. Hopefully they're out of removal spells. 
They just played gotchas on back-to-back -back rounds. Nope, obviously not. Hates fun. Our planet really hates fun. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Want to do that because, like, if you go Haunted Relic, they could respond to the Haunted Relic. Now they can't respond to the Haunted Relic. Board full of snap vines. If you have three snap vines in play, if you play one thing, do you kill it and create three snap vines? Probably not. No, because you have to kill it to summon one. <laughs> Let's go. My spirit is an unquenchable fire. Snap vine time. There's the one two punch. You cannot escape. It's overgrown. They just never stop coming. Take 12, go to 3. How do they have so many gotchas? I guess they're allowed to play 3. That's what they've had. Never stops. We're still like almost assuredly going to lose, but it's pretty sweet. No, yeah, we can't we can't heal with yeah, collector is just a snap bind. Oh, we have our snap binds. You know, if they just Yeah, they just keep health potioning this thing. The body must thrive for the That's five damage. But that was still pretty sweet. Gave our deck another dimension. You know, like we we weren't that far away from winning, uh, considering like all the stuff they had with Vi and everything. Like normally we would have been like without the snap vine, we would have been uh, you know dead by a mile. But at least we were like close to winning because of the snap vine. It was getting us there. Yeah, I tried to have Collector first in play, but they killed it. They just had they had so much removal. 
Um, you know, they had not only turn five, but turn five vibe, and then just tons and tons of removal alongside. That's obviously gone. Um, I think I'll keep, like, basically, do I keep the second Curse Keeper? Obviously, we have Curse Keeper into Caretaker, which is pretty good. Do we keep the second Cursed Keeper? No, I'll send it back. All right, see you, Gamma. Thanks for stopping by. I wish I would have kept the second Curse Keeper with all this stuff. Oh, I'm sorry, Gamma. Okay, I'm sorry. I misread that. Oh, Test is leaving. Yeah, because we're playing against Test right now. Okay, I gotcha. So Test was in the chat, but then we got paired. I gotcha. This keeps them from getting the 3 2. You don't need that at least that bad. Because, you know, like, if you look at it, like, we're still at, like, now afterwards, we're at five cards, they're at five cards, but we have these two things in play. Yeah, that's true. Valfies does sound pretty good with Snapvine. Yeah, just, you know, with playing, like, Haunted Relics and stuff, it's hard to have room for Valfeast. Should we have them gain the life first? Nah, this is fine. So like how this works, like if they don't respond at all, we don't get to do anything else. All right, well, we'll do this. So I wouldn't mind like sacking this so they don't gain the life, but I guess like we really do need to get that Emerald Awakener out of play. All right, we have the Callista Haunted Relic combo. Possible they just don't attack if I pass. Make me waste all the mana. Okay, so glad they're attacking. So a 4 4 is like our, our best thing to get with Callista. I'd like to play more stuff before combat. If we play more stuff before combat, then they could kill Callista. Hmm. 
we grow up so fast? I wouldn't snap vine, I don't think. I think I'd probably go like caretaker, maybe, to try to pull the thresh to the side. But yeah, like this this attack just also kind of just helps for them. Because their deck's just going to be so many spells. I don't know, do we just start snap finding? Guess I could rekindle her. Probably rekindle her first. Next turn we'll have eight mana for snap vine aristocrat. So yeah, I mean, that was pretty good. That Thresh took out my Rekindler. No. That was a, such a great turn. For my opponent. Such a great turn. We can try one more time. Hope they don't have removal again. I don't know if it's better just to like pass first. Okay, good. Good. Um, let's play this. If they would have had removal, they, they would have just played the removal. So I think we're safe to Brood Awakening or Cursed Keeper. Or, let's see. I guess Cursed Keeper and Aristocrat are the same thing, but Cursed Keeper costs two mana, Aristocrat costs one. They do the exact same thing, though. Give me two Snap Finds. Why do all these opponents just hate us having fun? They just hate it. My wisdom is now my strength. So obviously this game's over. Here comes another karma. It's also enlightened. So obviously this game's over. Heart and mind as one. We'll bring peace to Ionia. Closer. I don't 
All right, one and two. What a perfect turn, that Thrush miss call turn. It's all right, test. GG's. All right, playing against Burn. We are slower than Burn. Burn's pretty tough, because we are slower than Burn, and I don't have life gain. We're not really playing interaction. So this is a tough matchup. We really have to have triple one drop? What's your hurry? Is that necessary? Could play the Callista and then, you know, try to Haunted Relic next turn. But I like playing the Monkey Idol because the Monkey Idol makes a Powder Monkey. Powder Monkey can block. I like that. It's a good block. It's a good blocker. First big mission. But... <laughs> yeah, we're, we're dead. It's a better blocker than, like, a Callista would be right away. Like, if I were to play Callista, then they would have just gone straight to attacks here. I think that's maximal damage output for three turns worth of cards. Thanks, Taz. Thanks to the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you. Six mana this turn. I need a double spell. I mean, obviously, I don't need that. I mean, obviously, I'm just dead. It doesn't doesn't really matter. I'm very dead. Yeah, if we would have top decked an Everglade Collector this turn, 
maybe, because yeah, would have had I don't know Neverglade Collector, then Honda Relic gain some life, but no, like we wouldn't have had any blockers, and they would still have all those things. Best case scenario, I'm at one. That's best case scenario right now. And I also don't know how I'm going to get this Boom Crew Rookie off the table. I mean, I, I can't really. We have to draw an Everglade Collector. Like, we're playing against top tier decks, but our top tier opponent decks are not stumbling whatsoever. They're just having either, like, the two control decks, all sorts of great answers. They're like perfect for whatever I'm doing. Or obviously that was just the most ideal turn one, two, three for burn aggro. So that's kinda sad, you know, we're trying to like mean tier Monday stuff, but we're just playing against like the best, you know, just like we knew we were gonna be playing against the best decks, but they're not stumbling whatsoever. They're just curving out perfectly. And obviously we can't really compete. I mean, we're, we're competing, but we can't really win against that. All right, game number five. I think of Brood Awakening. If I go... Dun, dun... <laughs> yeah, so my life, opponent always curves out, I barely find cards to play. So it's feeling like today. Yep, so far. The best possible one drop, best possible two drop. Yeah, I could pass there, turn three, level Callista, but then... Then what? Like, our, our Callista is leveled up, but it doesn't... It doesn't really do anything. It's not a bad turn three either. Double spelling with a 3-3 a three three and a 2-3 a that made my thing vulnerable. Pretty great turn three. Hey, Mr. Gonzig. Because, yeah, like, our, our Callista would attack and put in, like, a 1-1. <laughs> um, it's been a while since I've played a Zed tempo-style deck. I haven't recently. It's a little unnecessary. Just like honey thresher geese.
So why would Quinn attack here? They got thing to make, give all their things tough this turn. They have to have something like that, right? They sure do. It's the best car they could have, so that's why I assumed they had it. No, it's, it's not worth it blocking with Callista. Quinn's, Quinn's not that valuable. Callista's definitely more valuable. If I block with Callista, then the tracker kills my Callista. Hey, what's up, Storm? Yeah, new emotes. It's been a sad day today. Oh, right. I forgot about the Callista being vulnerable. I did forget about that. Eat up, friend. Give them a chance. And I did forget about that. Round six. I know what lurks in the shadows. Show them what we're made of. Yeah, I have a, a Hecara Maokai ephemeral. I had a Zed Maokai ephemeral. That you know you could you could replace Zed with with Hecarim, you know kind of thing. You can check that out for ideas. Our deck's all about getting damage in. Let's do it. Let's get some damage in. Stand for what's right. We're not really playing defense. Make it worth my while. That's 10. I'll take it. Yeah, I like Maokai with, with sharks. Is just gonna win this? Come on, no single combat. Let me untap. Oh yeah. Uh, hapless aristocrat, do I throw you? Just throw you out there? <laughs> sure. Why not? All right, so we get two rekindlers, both rekindlers, put another Callista back into play. Not bad. Pretty good combo. Now we got four Callistas.
Well, they don't really know how Callista works, if that's how they want to block. Blocking, like, blocking there just kills this Rekindler. All right. Two and three. We beat the Demacia deck when they curved out really, really well. Obviously, we did too, but, you know, it kind of shows how powerful Callista plus Rekindler can be. That we just had there at the end. That's why we, that's why we got we got one uh, rekindler in here because it's just too powerful. Um, uh, but yeah, we never really got to do stuff with uh, prankster or neverglade collecta. I think like the best version of this deck does not play phantom prankster, and uh, probably like the the very best, like kind of shadow Isles self sacrifice kind of deck. Um, I don't think the Phantom Prankster is really good enough. And probably not Monkey Idol either. But, you know, it's Beam Tier Monday. We're playing a Monkey Prankster. Uh, but yeah, the the Callista Rekindler combo, awesome. Snapvine looked really cool. And that's that's what that was like the new card that we're trying out today. Overgrown Snapvine. It did look pretty sweet. And it's fun to say, Overgrown Snapvine. You know, get a nice little rhythm to it. Kind of sing-songy. Overgrown Snapvine. Um, so yeah, that was definitely a good addition. Um, yeah, Collector can definitely win games. We didn't, didn't get any of those this time. Obviously, like, the other thing, like, this deck really needs is some sort of removal. <laughs> I'm, I'm just not even playing removal. Uh, I mean, I guess we got Caretaker and Maokai. That's our removal with the Saplings. And then I did throw Ruination in here just to get some people. We, we didn't do a very good job drawing that ruination um but it's in here maybe two ruinations instead of this ledros we i don't know we never really did anything with ledros either but fun one to play you know if you don't you know if you want to have just like the same kind of game plan all the time it's not like going to be the best kind of deck but uh you know you don't have to really worry about removal you just play your stuff let it die keep attacking keep putting that pressure on the opponent and whittle that life total down. All right, that's it here for Monkey Prankster, though. Uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments as well. Let me know what do you want to see next week on Meme Tier Monday. All right, but thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.